Hello everyone. Today I will be sharing a recap of a romantic movie where a young man is seduced by his attractive female neighbor. The movie explores the intimate relationship that develops between them. Before we begin, I would like to remind you to please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video. The movie begins with a man's voiceover. He says that when you were a kid, you didn't think about the consequences and you felt invincible. People told you about repercussions, but there was one thing about summer, and that was anything could happen. In this man's case, it did. We see a shot of people enjoying the beach as Doug comes into a town. He's reading a book and looks up to see a breathtaking view of the beach. He is driven into town with his parents, and as they are taking their things down, his mother jokingly asks if he's got enough books. Their house is next to a pier where a couple of boats are packed. Doug goes down there and meets one of his friends who tells him about the women that have come here and that the situation is ridiculous and he can easily get laid. The two then walk on the pier and head to a bar where a man pulls out the cord for the electronics, which causes the band playing to stop. He receives a couple of boos, but then he starts to play guitar with the band, which the people enjoy. Doug's friend then hands him an apron and says that summer has officially commenced. Doug returns home, shouts to let everyone know that he's home, but it turns out that nobody's there. So he goes up to his room and looks at a couple of pictures. When he sees out the window, he sees a new couple has moved in. The wife is beautiful, and he tries to catch sight of her, but she goes into the house. It's Elliot and Lena. Doug continues looking at Lena, but she suddenly looks up, which startles Doug, and he turns away from the window. Later, he takes his bike out and manages to catch a sight of Lena as she bends down to remove the sand from her shoes. Doug then goes to his friend, and they once again start up a conversation about girls. The two then take a mattress to an old boat shed, where they hear the sound of laughing on the other side of the beach. The two then open their beers as his friend tells him that he will make sure that he has an amazing summer. When he returns home, he sees that the neighbors have moved in. Suddenly, his father calls him and takes him to meet the new neighbors. Elliot asks Doug that his father has told him that he knows a lot about boats, and Elliot invites him to come and take a look at his new boat, and that he might even hire him as it'll pay much more than just mowing lawns. The next day, Doug goes to take a look at the boat, and he sees Lena coming back from a swim. As she goes to take a shower, he continues to watch her. Lena takes off all her clothes, and Doug is continuously looking at her when suddenly Elliot comes out and asks him about the boat. Doug tells him that the damage is mostly cosmetic, and Elliot tells him that he might be going away for a while. The two then discuss Elliot's pay and agree on 12, but Elliot says that he would have paid him 20. Later, Doug is once again looking through his window towards the neighbor's house and sees Lena changing. Suddenly, Elliot enters the room and tries to force himself on his wife, which makes Doug look away. The next day, Elliot drives to the waterfront, where he is stopped by the guard who tells him that he needs to check his identity. Doug comes to talk with Elliot and tells him that the guard is a bit strict. Elliot just responds that he likes it better this way. While the two stand on his boat, Doug asks Elliot how he managed to get all of these things, and Elliot responds that it was all possible because of money and good looks. The next day, Elliot once again sees Lena walking by, and he suddenly hears a scream. He rushes out to see that Lena is standing by the car as if there is a spider in there. He takes out the spider and kills it. He then fixes the car for Lena but gets somewhat awkward when she comes near him. He tells his friend about this interaction who says that he better be careful with the husband as he doesn't look like a guy Doug would want to mess with. On his way back from his job, Doug runs into Lena who is sitting on her porch. She tells him that she has locked herself out of the house and would need his help to get in. She then asks him to keep this a secret between them as Elliot had asked her to take care of herself. It suddenly starts raining and Lena asks Doug to grab a rock and break the back window so he can open the door and let her in. Doug does so and manages to get in and open the door for her. She invites him to come in for a drink and hands him a beer. The two start talking, and she notices that Doug has a cut. She starts to clean it and seductively tells him that he will live. Doug then kisses Lena, and he tells her that he's sorry it was bad, but she doesn't seem phased. She tells him to try again and kiss better. The two start making out and Lena starts to strip. Doug helps her take her clothes off and they end up having sex. The next day, they wake up in bed together and Lena tells him that he was good last night and asks him if he had been with a girl before. 
He jokingly refers to the sex they had as his third time. Doug goes home and even smiles to himself, thinking about the time he just spent with Lena. He then goes to meet with his friend, who tells him that he dialed him last night and plays a voice note of Doug moaning. He then shows him a couple of girls to have sex with, but Doug blows him off. Over the next couple of days, Doug continues to look at Lena and also starts working out for her. He is working on the boat when Lena once again comes up to him and tells him that her husband sent her to check up on him. They get into the boat, and Lena asks him to close the cover of the boat and starts flirting with him. She once again starts taking off her clothes, and they end up kissing once again, which leads to sex. That night, Doug is working at the bar when he sees Lena coming in with her husband. His friend comes up behind him and points at a couple of girls and tells him that he has a good feeling about tonight. The next day, Doug is going by on his bicycle when he sees Elliot stop next to a store. He stops and goes into the shop to find Lena inside. Both of them go out the back door and end up having sex, but Elliot walks into the store looking for Lena. Hearing him come, they stop, and Lena then kisses Doug and goes back. A while later, Elliot is inspecting the boat that Doug is fixing and tells him about oversight, and then gives him a lecture about why he is giving him a hard time. He says that Doug reminds him of himself and that he is working hard. He also says that he's going out of town. Doug takes advantage of this and goes to meet Lena, and they have a picnic on the bed. They have an intimate conversation, and Lena takes out a phone for him. She tells him that Elliot is a paranoid man, and that the phone will help them talk. Doug rushes to the kitchen, and Lena follows, but they are seen by the gardener. Sometime later, Doug walks back to the waterfront and sees that Elliot is standing next to his boat. He apprehensively walks towards the boat and sees that Lena is with them. He then asks Doug to take the boat out to make sure that it's seaworthy. During the ride, Elliot is almost hit by a beam, but he manages to duck. Elliot then says that Doug was trying to give him advice about women and asks him if he has a girlfriend. Doug responds that he has one. Suddenly, the engine of the boat malfunctions, and Elliot goes to take a look. Lena takes a moment to tell him that she is considering taking a divorce from Elliot. He then comes out and asks Doug to fix it. Later that night, he receives a call from Lena, who is crying and tells him that Elliot assaulted her and that he is gone for a business trip. Doug drives to the hospital and tells her that she needs to tell the police about this, but she stops him, and they go home. A while later, he is working when he receives a call from Lena, who is sunbathing next to the beach. She invites him over, and they end up having sex in a boat shack. Lena tells him that she feels free with him. Lena then tells him about her husband's first wife and how they are still embroiled in a court battle. Doug's friends then inquire about Doug's activities and tell him that he is seeing someone, but Doug just brushes these comments aside. He then goes home and sees that Elliot is back. He suddenly receives a call from Lena and rushes to his room where Lena is standing behind him. She tells him to come over immediately as she needs him. Doug then rushes to her home and discovers that Elliot and Lena got into a fight and she managed to hit him on the head with something. It turns out that Elliot is dead, and Lena tries to ask Doug for help. Lena tells him that she can't get in trouble and asks him what he should do. Doug then tells her that they will figure something out, and he says that they have to act normal. He goes to work at the bar, and when he comes back home, he sees that Lena has come to meet his parents. They have an awkward interaction, and Doug goes up to his room. Later that night, he goes to Lena's house, and she apologizes that she can't stay in the house, so she goes over to his parents' house. Doug says that they could make it look like an accident, but Lena tells him that the excuse won't work. So Doug comes up with a new plan, and he takes Elliot's body to his boat and tells Lena that she will tell the cops that they had a fight, and Elliot left the house. Just as the boat is about to leave, a security guard spots Doug and calls to him as Mr. Harper. But Doug acts like Elliot and takes the boat away. In the morning, the cops are investigating what looks like an accident and see the cops coming over to Lena's house. He sees Lena talking to the cops. Doug used a beam on the ship to make another injury on Elliot's head and then used alcohol in a cigarette to set the boat on fire. Doug continues with his normal routine and he is serving a couple of cops who are talking about the incident. Later, a woman is shown driving to the town. She goes to meet the police and tells them that the L.A. Trust is taking the case very seriously. Elliot had a sizable insurance fund, and it's going to Lena now, so they're investigating for any foul play. 
The woman continues to investigate what had happened and asked Lena about everything that happened and if the couple had been sleeping around. Lena replies that she hasn't had any extramarital affairs and then gets up annoyed by the investigator's questions. The cops are also investigating the case, and the guard from the waterfront tells him that he might have a suspect from that night. The cops then start talking to Doug's father, and Doug asks the guard about the suspects. He tells him that he thought he had seen Elliot that night, but it might have been someone else. The insurance agent from before then goes to the house to take a look at the crime scene. She discovers the broken glass window that Doug left the night he first met Lena. The police also ask Doug's friend, and he tells the police that there might be some woman who Doug is seeing. This makes Doug angry, and he leaves. Later that night, the agent comes to Doug's home and questions about the night that Lena visited them. She tells them that they would like to see Doug. By this time, Doug is panicking, and he tries to call Lena but cuts the call when his parents return to the car. Doug then answers a couple of questions at the police station, and the agent asks him about Elliot's relationship with Lena. The agent tries to push Doug to reveal the details, but his mom intervenes and tells the agent that she won't allow her to frame her son. Doug receives a message from Lena, who asks him to meet her in that boat shed. Lena tells him that they have to be apart for a while and then leaves. When Doug comes home, the investigator is back at his house, and she tells him that she has to take his fingerprints and a mouth swab. They put Doug into the car, and the agent starts to grill him, but Doug doesn't answer these questions. Doug then tells about his situation to his friend and his parents. Meanwhile, the cops find a match for the blood sample that the agent had given to them. Doug's attempts to prove his innocence are thwarted at every turn, presumably by Lena. For example, a gardener of the Harpers who had seen Doug and Lena together turns up murdered before the police can talk to him. But Doug manages to escape on his bike. He goes to the watershed where he meets Lena. Just as he reaches the spot, Lena tears her clothes and starts shouting to let her go. She tries to make it look like attempted rape. The police arrest Doug. He tells the police that they know him and that he needs to do something to clear his name. So one policeman lets him go, and he rushes to Lena's motel to get his hands on her cell phone. But just as he's looking for the phone, Lena comes out, and the agent comes in. He tells her that the phone has complete proof of his innocence. The two women then walk out, and Doug notices that they both have the same matching tattoo. It is there that Doug realizes that the agent is actually Lena's lover and has been her accomplice since the beginning. Everything comes flashing back to him as he realizes that he was just a pawn in a bigger game. At first, it seems that Lena will leave Doug to take the rap. However, in a last gesture of love, she decides to leave Doug the cell phone, which contains the exonerating evidence he needs. The women are then shown flying off on a plane after claiming Elliot's insurance fund. Just as the film ends, Doug explains how he was eventually sent to prison but on reduced charges for a short period of time. Lena and her lover are still on the run. He contemplates if he would do it all over again. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.